Hi, my name is Carlo Rivillo, and I'm a physics teacher at Lake Worth High School and consultant for the Institute of Superior Splash Studies. Today we're going to discuss the physics behind the classic summertime swimming pool splash producer, the cannonball. In this example here, Michael demonstrates that the key to getting the biggest splash is you want to jump into the pool at a 45 degree angle. That way you'll get maximum height and length. If you go higher than 45 degrees, you won't get the length on your cannonball. So if you're trying to splash someone on the other side of the pool, your jump might be too short. The other key factors affecting your cannonball splash are velocity and momentum. Velocity is equal to distance over time, and momentum is just mass times velocity. Momentum helps when you hit the water, like when you have a collision, there's an energy transfer. So if a person has a good momentum, it will transfer that energy to the surface of the water and make a bigger splash. One of the other keys is mass. Mass affects how much the person weighs, which you can't do much about when you're already at the pool, but you can change volume. That's how much water you displace. So by maintaining the cannonball shape when you're in the air, then spreading out when you hit the water, you'll have a greater surface area and displace more water. While doing our study, we noticed other key findings. One, a running start ensures greater splash length. We must sometimes ignore the laws of physics because it's scientifically satisfying to hit the water in a cannonball shape. It also helps the uh, bonsai or kawabanga before hitting the water. This is also scientifically satisfying. There is an art to cannonballs. Science takes you to pool's edge, but Nash and Daring do guide you through the air and under the water surface. In conclusion, the cannonball is the most effective means of splash conveyance currently known to humankind.